celebration, Tuesday of the fourth week of Lent. We offer this Mass for the intentions of all our parishioners here at Cristore and Santissimo Salvador del Mundo. We continue to pray for an end to this coronavirus. We pray for those who have died, we pray for those who are sick with the virus, and we continue to pray for all our medical professionals and all the people who continue to provide essential services. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us now pause for a moment of silence, ask God for his pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have and the Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. In the midst of the vision I received from the Lord, the angel brought me back to the entrance of the temple. There the water was flowing. From below the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the temple faced east, and the water was flowing down. From below the south end of the threshold of the temple, south of the altar. Then the angel brought me out of my way of the north gate and led me around the outside through the outer gate that faces toward the east, and the water was coming out on the south side. Going on eastward is a cord in his hand. The man measured one thousand cubits, and had led me through the water, and it was ankle deep. Again, he measured one thousand, and led me through the water, and it was knee deep. Again, he measured one thousand, and led me through the water, and it was up to the waist. Again, he measured one thousand, and it was a river that I could not cross. For the water had risen, it was deep enough to swim in, a river not be crossed. He said to me, Mortal, have you seen this? Then he led me back along the bank of the river. As I came back, I saw on the bank of the river a great many trees, on the one side and on the other. He said to me, This water flows through the eastern region and goes down to the, the Arabah, and when it enters the sea, the sea of stagnant waters the water will become fresh. Wherever the river goes, every living creature that swarms will live, and there will be many fish. Once these waters reach there, it will become fresh. Everything will live where the river goes. On the banks, on both sides of the river, they'll grow all kinds of trees for food. Their leaves will not wither, nor their fruit fail, but they will bear fresh fruit every month, because the water for them flows from the sanctuary. Their fruit will be food, and their leaves for healing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, the mighty Lord is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. The mighty Lord is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea. The mighty Lord is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge. There is a river 
whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The mighty the Lord, Lord is with us, us. The, the God of Jacob is our refuge. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge. God will hold the works of the Lord, see what awesome things he has brought on the earth. The mighty Lord is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the sheep gate, there is a pool, called in Hebrew, Beth Zatha, which has five porticos. In this lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for thirty-eight years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been there a long time, Jesus said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, and while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take up your mat and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your mat. But he answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take it up and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had disappeared in the crowd that was there. Later Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews started persecuting Jesus because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, we continue our Lenten journey. We continue to commemorate the Paschal mystery, the Passion, Death, and Resurrection of our Lord and Savior. We continue the series of Miracles of Jesus. Last Sunday, if you remember, we heard of Jesus healing the man born blind. Yesterday, the healing of the son of the official. And today, we have another healing. This man who was ill for 38 years. What is important for us to remember is that the initiative for healing comes from the Lord. When he saw this man who has been seated for 38 years, lying there, he said to the man, Do you want to be made well? The man didn't say, Yes, I want it. Yes, please heal me. All he said, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool. And Jesus said, to him, stand up, take up your mat, and walk. This is the Son of God. This is our Savior, the Divine Healer. He is our refuge. My dear friends, especially during these days in our lives, I think all of us, when we pray, we pray for healing, especially against this coronavirus. We ask the Lord to show His healing power. We want to hear this word, stand up 
and walk. Be healed. This is our prayer. Lord, you know our infirmities. You know our deepest sorrows and our need. We ask for your healing. As you heal the man born blind, as you heal the uh, son of the official, and as you heal this man, so heal our people. Heal our land. For nothing is impossible with you. I hope, my dear friends, especially now that we are asked to stay home, to observe proper physical distancing, let us meditate. Take this time to meditate and reflect on the responsorial psalm today, Psalm 46. The mighty Lord is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Uh, it's very appropriate for our time. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God. Remember the first reading from the prophet Ezekiel, the reading that will be the source of healing, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. So my dear friends, let us continue to pray, reflect, meditate, and believe that with God, the divine healer, nothing is impossible. The mighty Lord is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Let us now pause for a moment of silence and we offer to our God all our petitions and all our prayers. And we make all these prayers to our God we ask the intercession of Blessed Mother as we now pray to her. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for into your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for it. Christ 
our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We hold them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise, we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of it, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who are fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, who will bless you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The 
peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the love of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to be under your roof. Only say the word of thy soul shall be healed. shepherd, there's nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies, now and likewise, in times to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. God of the blessing. Grant a merciful God that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good through Christ our Lord. Amen. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.